it's a curious and mysterious disease, mm -hmm. Alzheimer's, and I, I don't have any particular insight into mm -hmm. it, but the last time I, I visited Irving, I, I brought him some cheese Danish. I was with um, Musha Swartz, who was so devoted to him, mm -hmm. and uh, put it, cut it up and put it down in front of him. He said, thank you very much, and some orange juice. He said, thank you very much. And I had the feeling that he was very peaceful. Mm. He really enjoyed that cheese Danish. You know, he didn't look up. There was no need to thank anyone. But more than that, I just felt that he'd gone beyond the social conventions. It wasn't as though it was some kind of enlightened or spiritual silence. It wasn't that at all. It was a completely different... It was just a sense that nothing need be said or can be said. It's not that it was taken for granted, it's more that it just was the way it was. And it was completely all right with him. And the only invitation that was in the air was for it to be all right with you too. Mm -hmm. And I just sat there completely relaxed uh, while Irving felt no need or obligation to acknowledge my presence. That's the last time I mm. saw him. So you've been able to deal with the unfairness of, of the way he went out? Well, you know, the, these things, you know, we, we simply cannot penetrate, you know. I, I, I thought his exit was very graceful. It was silent and maybe unfair, and, and, but the mind, it, it was at rest in some way. You know, this incredible mind that had, you know, imagined Canada, you know, for all of us. It, it seemed to me to be at rest.